Hey there, Crafty Jenna Buck here. So I have a lot of scrap yarn balls, leftover yarn balls from other projects. Um, this is just a small fraction of the leftover yarn I have. And I have a great way, really cat, really? And I'm gonna show you one of my favorite ways to use up the yarn scraps does not matter what colors, does not matter um, what thickness, as long as they're relatively close, all, all the yarns you use are relatively close. Um, it's a scrap yarn basket. What you do is you take yarn and a large hook, I'm using a size N 10 millimeter hook, and you crochet three colors Together. I'm just going to pick three random. They don't even really look that great together, but it doesn't matter because it will look great when it is finished. And let's see. You start all the balls. You're going to crochet all three strands at the same time. I'm going to start with a magic circle. So I've got my magic circle. I'm going to make, <laughs> I don't even care if they get tangled. I'm going to make six single crochets into this magic circle. And this is worked in the round. Um, I will put a link to the pattern. Hi, Perrin Kitty. I'll put a link to the pattern that I use in the description down below. Um, and then you just keep working in the round. Use a basic circle creating um, method. Since you're crocheting in the round, you don't do a slip stitch. And once we're here, we're going to do two single crochets in each. So you get the basic idea. I'm just going to keep crocheting in the round and make this basket as wide as I want using the typical um, increase method for a flat circle. And then as I go along, I'm going to drop colors and pick up different colors to change my color way. So let's say I was red, done with the red, I would cut it, connect it with another, any other random color I chose, and then keep crocheting and just switch out different colors as I went. Um, I'll show you as I go, of course, but uh, that's, that's it. You go make it as wide as you want and then you build up, um, and, and make the basket. I love this for, like I said, any tiny little scraps of yarn that I have left over. Um, especially if I don't know what I'm going to do with it, which happens a lot. I've made a few of these and you would think looking at this giant container of yarn that it's going to be super tacky, but it ends up working somehow. Um, that's the plan. I'm going to move to my comfy chair and crochet along with me. So let's get crafting.
basket is complete. It uh, turned out pretty cool. I really like making these. I make these quite often, actually. Um, they're perfect, like I said, for scrap yarn. Anytime you have a yarn project, you always have little pieces left over. And this is just perfect for those little balls left over from, cra from uh, crochet or knitting projects or any other yarn to craft. Um, a couple hours, you got a basket. Um, still have to like cut off the little connector pieces, um, but maybe, you know, it's a nice little basket for whatever. You could make it a beach bag. You could make it bigger and make it a beach bag. Or, um, you could make them smaller. Pet beds, especially for kitty kitties. Um, yeah, it's really, really versatile, really easy to make. Really fun, you know, just sitting around in front of the TV. It's kind of mindless. Once you get past the base, where you have to do increases every so often, it's just single crochets around, and it's kind of a fun, mindless craft. It's just something to keep your hands busy. You don't really have to think about, and I sometimes need those, you know? I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed making this one, and I hope you uh, are inspired to make some baskets. It's simple, it's fun. I'm going to put a link to the pattern I used down in the description. So if you want to make your own, uh, you'll have better instructions than the ones I provided in this video. And uh, also to give credit to the inspiration of where I found it. So I hope you have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.